hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. Makes me think, we can make it You know, the days are long, right? You know, when you find that as you get out of the life, Jeez. the days are long. Things are tough. You work hard, right? Nah, you nah. Take care of your family. But the years are short, are they not? They fly by, Bobby. They fly by. And the next thing you know, you're looking back, right? You're looking back and you're saying, man, where did the Don't time go? But you, if you look back and you say, those were some good times and I met some good people and I did some good things, right? Then it's all worthwhile. So uh, that's what makes me. That's what makes me feel. And well, the other thing I feel about with this team right here, these guys. I think I know you'd be proud of these guys. These guys. These guys are ravens. All right. These guys stand on the foundation that you all stacked, day after day, long day after long day. All right. Quick year after quick year. They stand on that foundation. They take pride in it. They understand the standard, and they want to stack the standard even higher. Right. They want to take it to that next level. So. Coach Caldwell, you always say the five Bs of speaking, right? Be brief, brother, be brief. But I'm going to ask you, come up here if you would, Coach, the offensive coordinator for that team, and maybe you and maybe a couple of the guys who feel it, what was one thing maybe about that team that you felt was something that made them champions? Yeah, first of all, it's a real pleasure to be here. Man, that's an offense coordinator right there. Champions as well. Um, all these guys back here probably tell you some of the same things, but one of the things that jumped out at me is the fact that they believed in one another. They had a lot of great fun, but they believed in one another. They believed in the system. They believed in the coaches. They believed in everything that John taught and assimilated uh, to the rest of us. But that's the big thing that, that, that jumps out at you. And oftentimes, that's the thing that kind of holds you back every once in a while when you don't have that true belief. I'll tell you an interesting story real quick. Um, when I became the offensive coordinator, struggling, trying to get myself together, ter uh, uh, Suggs, walked into my office and says, Coach, we don't care what you call, we got your back. That still resonates, right? But that's the kind of faith, kind of belief that this team had. Hey, Y'all got a good foundation, you got great leadership. Hey, I'm looking at Tucker right there. Hey, you got a good leg right there, you know? <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, just lean on one another. You say something, mean it. Say something, do it. Um, you know, don't put it off. Don't um, take a shortcut, you know, put that work in because you can only take out the bank what you put in. You know, I was actually just thinking about the year that we won the Super Bowl and I think it was, it was late in the year and we lost three straight games. Am I right about that? And, uh, you know, there was so many highs and lows to that season and to lose three straight games. And I think it was, I think we had five games left. We lost three straight, we had two more and we had to beat the Giants to win the division, and then we would make the play. That was just to make the playoffs. And so I think about that time, and you know, we were just on the cusp of not even making the playoffs the year. Josh Fines, what's up, man? Um, the year that we, we won the Super Bowl. And to think back of that, that's, it's a crazy time, but you gotta credit the, the guys in that locker room at that time, because nobody pointed the finger at one another. It didn't divide us. To lose three straight games at that point in the season, and I mean, we were a good team that year. So at one point, I think we were nine and two, something like that. I don't know, my memory's gone. But to lose three straight games and be on the brink of not even making the postseason, nobody blinked an eye. And we came back into m and Bank Stadium and beat the Giants pretty handily, and that got us going. And so, like I think about your guys' season, and you've had some close losses and all that kind of stuff, games that you know, could have gone either way. Um, but great teams never point the finger. Great teams are the teams that, that galvanize together during tough times because you're always going to have highs and lows in football. It's just part of the deal. And uh, don't blink. You guys are unbelievable team. I miss my son's right here, Decker. I mean, where's Lamar at? He's like, Lamar is his idol. He's playing quarterback, and uh, all he wanted to do was meet Lamar. What's up, Lamar? I mean, who cares about Tucker? We just want Lamar, right? <laughs> tough times happen in football. Football is a tough sport. You don't blink, you stay together, you don't point the finger. Everybody's accountable for themselves and keep chugging along, and good things happen. So. I want to hear from Vontae Lee.
Hey, the guys just said basically everything, you know. Uh, I would just piggyback off what the guys Man, said. Monte is a huge. You just got to believe in each other, and the only people that matter is the people that's in the locker room. Y'all go to the locker room, like room shut the door, and that's the only people shape. that matter. That's the only voices that matter. So, you know, stick together. Um, go out there, stick together, and um, like you said, galvanize as a team, and just go out there and work. That's it. You already know what to do. Just go out there and do it now. That's easy. It's simple. Where's Anquan Bolden, man? I ain't got much to say, man. Just, um... I mean, y'all already a great group of guys, man. Y'all just got to believe in y'all self. You know what I'm saying? And like, believe in the coaches. And for us, that's the reason we won the way that we did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell a lot of people, actually, the year before we won the Super Bowl, I think we had more talent on the team. Yes, sir. But we weren't a team. And then we came back the, the following year, and from the first day we hit training camp, that's all we talked about, winning it all. And through that year, we, we dealt with a lot. I remember one game we had probably two guys that was on our starting defense at the beginning of the year starting. And the rest of the guys were guys who had just come in off the street. But we were determined to, you know what I'm saying, to win. We bought into what the coaches said. System, we bought into it. We believed in one another, played for the guys right next to us. And at the end of the year, you know what I'm saying, we accomplished our goal. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. So, I mean, y'all guys put in the work. Y'all have the talent, y'all have the system, y'all have all of that, man. Y'all just gotta believe in it now. On behalf of all of us, on behalf of all of us, you know, we all know what kind of an organization we have here, right? And I say this from the bottom of my heart with the deepest gratitude on behalf of every player, every coach, every wife, every mother, every, every child here. Thank you for what you do for us and for what you built for us and what you established and what you sacrificed for us. It means everything, right guys? How about for this guy right here? Guys, get a hand. What was they just now clapping for Steve? What the? What the heck was that about? He said this guy, and he kind of looked at Steve. Whoa, huh? Stand in here, kids. Get in here tight. Say once a raven, always raven, baby. Ravens on three. One, two, three. Let's go. I want to reboot the old sitcom. Step right up. Um, that was a uh, that was interesting. That was interesting um, for them to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really. I don't know. I feel like when Horace was talking at the beginning, it was just that feeling, just like uh, the same old same. And it looks like Horace is just like drain of energy or something like. I don't know. It just I, am I tripping? But that's that's what I felt like looking at that. I was just like, uh, just like, uh. and like they brought up the offense coordinator Jim, and I'm like, Harbs didn't even want to fire his previous coordinator Cam. So it's just like, oh, uh, I don't know. I I don't know what to get from that. I I really don't like that team was a baller. Uh, balling team. It's just like I know they. I was expecting to hear from like Ray or Ed, but I think they, you know, know. Like that's who was doing their thing, you know? and I believe on the offense side, I believe it was Anquan as he spoke. But yeah, yeah. Even uh, when Jim spoke, he said, you know. Uh, Sills came in his offense like, you know, we got your back. Who on the Ravens defense right now will co go in Greg's Roman office and say, we got your back? I don't think now one of them will do that because they played out. 
they're I think they like so like okay we're done with we're we're done with Greg like so I don't know I don't know but that's just a little interesting thing to see there that that's just something interesting to see um but yeah so hopefully the this get them going or something because they say they lost three in a row i don't remember those games i'll have to go back and google it but um just giving y'all my straight thoughts on that but yeah so well, i think the 2011 team i think that team was just eh. but he said they wasn't really a team i'm like evans when you know, evans dropped that ball billy condor missed that kick was he including not feeling as a team? Cause they, I know they had to be looking at him kind of special in that locker room. Both of them after that, but yeah, yeah. So hopefully, uh, they speaking and everything didn't go through the ears of the players, and we can make this turn. Hopefully, cause they did fire offense coordinator that year before the bye week. Just, just throwing that out there. Just, just a little throw.